Stangibilisco here. In the video right before this one, I described a circuit using a dual gate MOSFET, metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor, employed for the purpose of frequency conversion. The two uh, gates uh, receive the input signals to be mixed, so it's a form of mixer. And you can get then either the sum or difference frequencies out of that mixer. The sum frequency in that particular case was 100 megahertz plus uh, 27 megahertz, and the difference frequency 100 megahertz minus 27 megahertz because the input signals were 100 megahertz and 27 megahertz. The point is you can get either the sum or the difference frequency from a mixer. And in that sense, a mixer is very much like a modulator. You can, like an amplitude modulator. Think of the, uh, think of the in, one of the input signals, say the 100 megahertz signal, the higher frequency signal. Think of that as the carrier wave in an AM signal. And think of 27 megahertz as a single tone, <laughs> high pitch tone indeed. Modulating, amplitude modulating that 100 megahertz signal. Then you'll get side bands, an upper side band at 127 megahertz, 100 plus 27 megahertz, and a lower side band at 73 megahertz, 100 megahertz minus 73 megahertz. Mixing and amplitude modulation are, in fact, very similar. Uh, it, sometimes you can use a single circuit to do both, but generally an amplitude modulated signal contains more complicated data than just single tone uh, frequencies like 27 megahertz. But you can, the point here is that you can get either the sum or the difference frequency of the two input signals at the output of a mixer or frequency converter. Uh, if you get, say, in the previous example, 100 megahertz and 27 megahertz are the input signals, up conversion would result in a 127 megahertz output signal and you would tune your output circuit to that frequency. Down conversion would uh, be the result of getting the difference frequency, 73 megahertz, 100 minus 27 megahertz, and you would tune the output circuit to that frequency. Uh, it, that's just some, a theoretical point to make about frequency conversion. Either kind of frequency conversion, uh, up conversion or down conversion, will work just as well as the other. Although normally uh, we seem to have a tendency to want to think of a mixer as something that gets the difference between the two signals uh, frequencies and uses that signal as the output, but it doesn't necessarily have to be like that. And in some cases, you don't want it to be like that. Just a uh, couple of new terms in case you haven't heard them before. Uh, and even if you have, you might want to review your theory a little bit. Up conversion versus down conversion. Stan Jibalisco signing off. Until next time, so long.